Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. You're watching X Assassin 2660X with your bro Zach in this Resident Evil 2 Part 2 Leon playthrough. And let's pick up where let's pick up where we left off last night. I'm guessing that a range game is uh, when you play disc two first. Today we were, I went through the, halfway down this hallway, but I had stopped and went to go save. Wonder where Claire's at. You know, in a way, I feel kind of bad for Leon. It's only his first day on the job, and. He probably doesn't even want to work for the police department anymore. Oh, well, I probably wouldn't either if I was him. I already went in there, so I'll go this way. Something is right in here. Please keep quiet while meetings are in session. <laughs> What the heck? I just shoved both of them. Dang. That was funny. I went. I pushed one. I went to push one, but I accidentally pushed both somehow. There's another typewriter in here already. A special kind of key is required. Ooh. Looks like a like a little works. Like what is this? Oh, a uh, uh, photography station. I can develop film here. I assume that will prove useful. Let me, I'll put the green herb in there because there's one just right outside the door. Operation report 2. September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. I know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder Elliot Edward. So they're planning to escape through the sewers. Sewer drain. Or the... Yeah. More handgun bullets. Can never get enough of those, I guess. I 
don't see any incremental. Oh, wait, is that one right there? Oops. trying to be more conservative, but anytime there's, every time I encounter zombies, there's usually more than one. The doorknob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. What's this? Something is written on the mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. Um, okay then. Oh, I see. That's simple enough. I see. I was like, I, I thought I had to put them in front and make them face him, but that'd be that'd be too hard. They just had to be their places had to be swapped. I see. What's a puzzle like this doing in a police station anyway? I see this thing right here. It has to be lined up with that thing, but is there one on the other side? Oh, I see, I see.
have two red jewels, so I wonder what those are gonna be used for. That's kind of close. Whoa. I do like in this game, you could have 18 bullets in one round rather than 15 in Resident Evil 1. Nothing suspicious nor out of the ordinary. There are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest Winner at Chris Redfield. <laughs> That's funny. Someone left in a rush. Someone must it's trash, someone must have searched the desk. Nothing on the desk then. There's anything useful on the shelf. It appears to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. Picture of a young man, there's a good chance it's her boyfriend. The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. Is that like a puzzle or something? Chris's diary. August 8th, I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But that the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in the town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I, I'm run out of options. Running out of options. August 17th, we've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Have they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Yeah, but I didn't expect her to come looking for him. Unicorn metal. Yeah, so, something said something about a unicorn. I think it was the door in the entrance hall. Leon! Wow, it's Claire. It's good to see you're still among the living. You said it. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Make it sound like he's dead. Music's good. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and split get out Split up. Here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I can't believe what is happening to this city. This is actually kind of sad. devices. This must be where they gathered information. Ooh. Oh, I already have one. 
Oh well. I don't have any shotgun shells anyway. There's nothing else. That's all that's in there. This room. Uh, get off me. Someone broke their handcuffs right there. It's locked. A spade is etched under the keyhole. Spade sounds pretty important to me. Oh, I think I know what to do. The unicorn metal. I'm pretty sure the one door, in, one, the computer in the entrance hall, said something about a unicorn. I'm probably going to use that, and then probably get the spade. Check if this door is still sealed from inside. with Leon. It's locked, a diamond is etched under the key. Dang, that camera angle is whack. Still fine. Did they even do any damage? Was it this that said something about a unicorn?
outside. I see. Oh, it's a spade key. I still don't like that the um that those handcuffs were on that bench because it looked like someone escaped from them. And then especially I got the precinct key. There might be a prisoner on the loose. City data files most on Umbrella Inc. Visual materials. Patrol report. September 20th, 9.30 p.m. Reporter, Sergeant Neil Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking about the sewers and outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I, reco I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4, plastic explosive, and electronic detonator, 9x19, parabellum rounds, infrared, broken infrared scope, end of report. That's already broken. Why, is, why was infrared scope bro broken? Files on various cases not appear to be useful. Oh, she can't run at it. That's not a door. It's a step ladder. I just happened to push it in the right spot to crank. in this room again. door took a diamond key, not a spade key.
anything in here that I need to get? Oh, it's just this room. You have to use the preset key. This key is useless now, discard. Yes. I don't understand why I would keep it. Maybe there's like a case where I have to keep it. But if so, if you say yes, you just drop it and it's gone. Whoa. Dang, I was hoping to hit. No, that was a failed attempt. information looks useful. The desk is locked. I'll go down that other hallway in a minute. Okay, actually I'll go down that hallway right now because this, this room looks way too big. It's like a archives room or something. Switch to slide the shelf left and right. Will you push it left? Hmm. No, there's a. There might probably is a hint to this puzzle here. Company data files primarily on umbrella ink. None of these books appear to be useful. Exactly, is this even doing? Let me try this. I'll just press right on each of them. Does it work on that one? Hmm. Um, I'll wait on that for a minute.
many books on the shelf for about chemistry. Jeez. A bronze plate with a picture on it. I just click on it, read it, and then, and then just that. Power switch to the shelf, we push it. I see it connects to all. Oh, I see it's totally patterned. Basically one all the way on the left. One all the way on the right, and two in the middle. It's easy enough. I see. I need to move it back using the power switch. How's the pattern go again? It's one on the left and one on the right. And in between the middle ones and the one on the far left and the far right, there's two in between. Or. Well, pretty much. I don't know if that. Well, I might have something to do with it. Oh, I see. The, the two in the middle aren't supposed to connect to the same one. They're supposed to be separate. Here, I'll show you guys. Kind of like... Like this is supposed to be to the right more. Yeah, I like that. fix it. No, but they were. 
me see. Okay, so there's one in between the two torches on the left, one in between the, the last two torches on the right, two in the middle, with like one space in between them. might be it, but I don't think so. It doesn't really match the iron plate. As I thought. Okay, let me try to count it evenly where the two end up closest in the middle. There's one over there, all around the left, in between those torches. One, the one on the right is supposed to be between those two. And... Let me see. Hmm. Should be it right there. Thought I already tried that though. I thought I was looking at it wrong. I thought maybe they weren't um, in a certain order. Well, I mean, I thought like I thought maybe the space between the first and the second is different than the, the space between the third and the fourth, but it's not.
really understanding what I'm doing wrong. I guess that concludes this video for today. Thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to stay tuned for more. If you have any family or friends who you think would be interested in my content, please tell them about me so I could become a bigger channel and have better quality videos. And I'm currently saving up for a capture card right now, so when I have when I have enough for that I'll buy it. And then I'll be able to play a lot more, I'll have a lot more games I could play, like PS2 games or PS3 games, and it'll be good, and so thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, bye.